blast is a shockwave that travels through the air supersonically. Most people are familiar with it in the case of a supersonic jet, that big sonic boom that they hear. But it also occurs after explosions and can travel out far away from the, you know, the, the typical fireball that you see. You could just be standing there and kind of feel like a pressure pulse and feel a little shaken up, but fine. The focus of my work has been trying to understand brain injuries from explosions in the military setting. Um, and what we know from the, the human experience is that people who do experience, go through explosive events, they're predisposed to later development of uh, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's or mental health abnormalities like anxiety and depression. But we don't really know what's happening between the explosion and those things, which can appear weeks to years later. So some of the work that I've been trying to do is using uh, laboratory research to figure out some of the early stage events that happen between the injury itself and then the later big problems that really can impact people's lives. So this system will be good not only to detect auditory system in the brain damages, but also perhaps also give a, uh, some kind of a window looking to the brain to see possibly other parts of the brain also damaged. So then we'll have a early stage detection. And then you can tell these soldiers to maybe get on some kind of treatment early enough to prevent later unnecessary uh, more serious damages. So the goal for us is to take a look at say a high-risk population like a military unit who is combat deployed or going through training exercises that have uh, explosions involved and then implementing simple easy to use screening profiles um, using easy non-invasive tests uh, that could even though they might not have symptoms to report or things that can be identified by a physician there's a test that could, could pick that up and, and say hey you're at risk. You, don't, you might not know it, but we should be looking out and, and trying to make some interventions.